Hello everyone, I'm doing a Movivo Video Suite 15 tutorial. Now, let's go ahead and load it. Uh, as of right now, I got the, yes, the trial version. Um, either you can buy activation or whatnot. That's what that screen's for. Uh, video options. Yeah. Conversions, edit, a whole lot of stuff. Audio, pretty much you name it. Let's try the record computer screen. And here we are. We have the capture, a couple of short keys to command the recording, uh, preferences or whatnot. What I usually do is select custom, click this, go ahead and select my whole screen. Got my microphone enabled and everything, and start recording. And of course, there will be a watermark for the non-activated program. All right, let's play. Yep, let's play music. Let's load up Chrome. We can load up Google. Search something. There we go. Let's see what something pops up. Okay, so that's pretty much the gist of that. Now let's stop that. And there's, of course, the watermark. Um, we have, you can save it just as it is. If you didn't want to edit it or anything, uh, it'll automatically convert to whatever file format you prefer. Um, you could actually upload it to Facebook directly or YouTube. <laughs> I accidentally hit something. How about we go to it? Okay, I already clicked at it. All right, our aspect ratios, advanced settings. Usually, all this is okay. We just said okay. Um, now we got the video. Cool things. Uh, little effects up here. Add a title. Uh, at the very beginning of your video, you just click and drag any of these boxes, whether it's whatever you're working with, whatever effect, just click and drag it <coughs> where you want it. Uh, let's test it out. And there we are. Uh, you could also toggle full screen. Um, usually just double click to get out of it. Uh, let's say you don't like that title. Just simply go to edit, undo. It'll undo the most recent thing you've done. Let's see, some other cool things is a fade out. Say fade out at the end. And up here at the time bar, set where you want to play it or whatever not. And there, that was our fade out. A little quick, but you get the idea. Um, take that out there. Oh, uh, let's see. Say you want to cut the film. Select where the area you want to cut. Uh, I guess you have to actually 
select the file and split it. Now if I had another video file I could import it and then click and move this aside and arrange it wherever. And that is pretty much it for the editing. Now let's go to export. Continue in trial mode. Here up top we have all sorts of presets. Uh, YouTube, get to choose your resolution, yada yada. Some preset file formats even for Android, Apple, and over here you can select the different even more resolution options but as you do that the file size will be become larger so for the purposes of obviously what I'm doing is YouTube go for uploading online 360p let's do high and over here you can browse to select where you want to save your project to let's title this test and of course depending on what resolution or what setting and how the quality is will depend on how long it's going to take to export so time remaining three two one yeah and go ahead and I'll have this selected so I can jump straight to the file here's the video let's play it anyways there it is um, I haven't played around with this program very long and it looked like it was a little blurry or choppy so there's tons of effects um, and tools yeah this is probably more like it um, anyhow that is just the basics on how you do that